has been described as the closest thing to a real-life Sherlock Holmes, wowed the hard-to-please Simon Cowell and performed on Broadway and the West End, as well as two professional sceptics as well. He is here in New Zealand along with four other world-leading magicians on a four-stop tour. A huge welcome to mind reader Colin Clow. Hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank now, you for having me. First up, we must say you just got in, I know, but how have you found the Kiwi crowd so far? Can you read the minds? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, the skills I have are very transferable. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter where I am. It's uh, always it's interesting to see how different countries, cultures, people react and respond to what I do. But no, everyone uh, is susceptible to my skills and techniques, so everyone can definitely get involved. And is this your first visit to New Zealand? First time in New Zealand, oh, yeah. Oh, hi, welcome. I know welcome. That, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm loving it so far, so uh, yeah. And it surprises me what you said about Kiwis, because I find Kiwis can be quite reserved and quite, you know, in to themselves. Not in your mind, babe. Not but in your yeah, mind. in your yeah. mind, you can still pick it up. Oh, absolutely. Wow. I think it's, it's like the more you try to not think about something, the more you do anyway. So, if anything, this should be easier for me, I yeah. hope. So, I, how, do you, so how, does, how does it actually work? What do you actually do? So, the type of magic I do is basically based in... There's no sleight of hand as such. It's all to do with more sleight of mind, if that's an expression, really. It's a, a range of psychological tricks, techniques that I've developed to make people give off information. Little tells that we have. Yeah, okay. without them realising that they're they're doing it. So it's a, it looks, I hope, psychic, but it's definitely not psychic. Uh, and also my background is in comedy as well, so I find that by mixing that into it, it helps people lower their guard, relax, and then give off even more of what I want them to. So. Is it something somebody can learn, or do you have to be born with a skill? I think it's like, you know, teaching people to play guitar. You could take 100 people and over the course of a year train them how to play guitar, but by the end of that year, maybe five or six will just be naturally better at it based on right. how passionate they are and how interested their past experience. And I think it's the same with any type of magic. You know, all the magicians in the show have found their own niche and each of them specialised in that and wanting to improve. And as a result, yeah, it's definitely a skill. It's not a, a gift, as it were. I find it really interesting too because uh, with, you obviously get people from the audience too being yeah, involved. Yeah. Is that once you know that that's what you do, you think, okay, I'm going to shut down. I'm going to do the whole, this thing, psychological like this, so you can't read my mind at all by that obviously you get through that, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think also with all the magic, there's that misconception that magicians want to embarrass or make fun of people, and it couldn't be further from the truth. I mean, all the guys in the show are experts at making the audience the stars of the show. That is the point of it, you know? It's an experience to be shared by everyone. And, and yeah, I think, if anything, we're all experts as performers at reading the right people to use for certain mm -hmm. things, because we don't yes. want people to be embarrassed. I'm going to use the person who's doing this. No, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Or, of course, they might be hiding loads, so I might want to use them. It might be more fun, yeah. So let's talk more about the show. We've got some incredible people involved with that. What yeah. can we expect if we head along? I mean, this is... Uh, essentially, it breaks the mold of what you think a magic show is going to be. There's no right. cheesy pulling rabbits from hats. There's no big boxes. It's all in my opinion, four of the other best magicians in the world. I mean, award winners uh, from, you know, sleight of hand card magic that looks essentially like you're watching CGI, but you're wow. seeing it there, so you know that it's, you know, it can only be real. Um, world champions of magic, and also acts that hark back to the vaudeville age of magic, and where it really all started uh, to come together as a, as a performance art. And it really is the, the best in the world, so to be part of that five, uh, I'm honoured. So, oh, very so lucky. excited. Yeah, so lucky you guys are here. Now, I quickly wanted to ask you, did Britain's Got Talent, mm -hmm. did they boo-boo you, did they? No, no, I got four yeses on Britain's Got Talent. Uh, so, they, they, they loved it, yeah. But I just didn't go any further in it. <laughs> and America's Got Talent, you've done that one as well. Yeah, I did, and made it to the finals of America's Got Talent, and beaten by a 12-year-old ventriloquist. Oh, well, there you Story go. Story of my life. We've all been there. We've all <laughs> um, been there, right? And what did Simon Cowell say? Like, what oh, he direction? was, I mean, he was, del he thankfully loved what I did and what I to the show. I think what I tried to do was bring to the show, my goal wasn't to try and win the show. I mean, I'm, I'm not American for a start. It got as, you know, as far as I did, I was delighted. But I wanted to try and create things that would be remembered on the show and, and you know, just try and make good TV for them and things that I was proud of as well and really feel like uh, I managed to do that. So, yeah, very happy. They were delighted. So it was a win win. Awesome. Hey, well, I want you to stay right there because uh, we would love to see a little bit of mind reading tricks okay. on us. Is that actually something you can do? 
I, I've already I've got everything from you guys already. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 excellent. <laughs> okay, we are with forensic mind reader Colin Cloud, and stick around because this is going to be some incredible television coming up soon, I'm sure. I just wanted to quickly touch on the forensic side of this because mm. it can be quite a useful tool when you know how to do this in fighting crime. Yeah, well, my background, I was fascinated by Sherlock Holmes as a kid, and I went to university at 15 to study forensic investigation, so I was quite young, but yeah, that was my genuine background was in that, and I think one day I'd, I'd love to go back into the world of crime fighting, but I think for now I'm having lots of wow. fun doing yeah, this nice. side of things. Wow. Yeah, I can understand why. I want to see some of this side of things. Well, perfect. Now. It's easier, actually, if I try and teach you how to do it. So, do you play poker at all? No. No. But you did say it was National Playing Card Day, yes. and of course it's a magic show, so it's only fair that we have a pack of cards here. What I would love you to do is think of one at random. The reason I'm saying random, if I say think of any card, most people watching this will think of the Ace of Spades or the Queen of Hearts. Okay. I don't want you to do that. So what I'm going to do is just run through the cards. You can see they're all full pack of, and I will show to the camera, it's 52 different playing cards mm -hmm. here. Uh, and we'll just mix them as well. But just whenever you would like, I just want you to say the word stop. Stop. Can you see that card? Yep. Do you want it or do you want to change it? I want to change it. That's okay, I'll keep going. Stop. Right there. Different no. car. Can I change it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've only got two minutes, so you <laughs> need to... <laughs> okay. Stop. Right there? Yep. That one? Yeah. Do you want it or do you want to change it? I want to keep it. Keep it. Okay. And, and do mix them as well, because I, do, I think it was somewhere near the top. But right now, you're thinking of a random card, eventually, right? Yes. Could you also think of the name of the worst kiss you ever had? Just the person's first name, okay? I'll come back to you in a second. Don't say it, just think it. I'm going to think of a card as well. Here's what's going to happen. I'll read your mind, you read my okay. mind. So think of your card, don't say it. So look at me, I need your eyes open, okay? Imagine the number there, mm -hmm. good, and the suit beneath it, okay? So the number and the suit. Got it. Perfect. I'm going to take out, I'm between two, I'm going to be honest. You flickered there. Did you almost think of Queen of Hearts? Is that why you struggled? I did. Ah, I right, did. Okay. I right, okay. Right, okay. No, that's okay. But I think, don't look. I'm going to leave it there. Now, you're going to read my mind. Take these. I'll think of it as well. Okay. My card's different to this one, the okay. one I think you're thinking of. Keep thinking that name. So I'm seeing the number there mm -hmm. and the suit beneath it, okay? Take a moment. Do you have a card in Two your mind? Clubs. Don't tell me it, because if you oh. say it, I just want you to. <laughs> it's not the Four Clubs anyway, so I'm delighted. Yeah, that would have been wrong. <laughs> just think it, okay? Otherwise, okay. if you tell me it's less mind reading and more a conversation, and that's like so easy. So think of what card you think I'm thinking. Do you have it? Yes. Good. Take it out, put it face down on the table. I don't want to look. Think of the letter. So a letter in the middle of this person's name, okay? Don't say it. Just think of a letter somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. Put your two hands out like you're holding a keyboard as well in front of you. Uh, just imagine typing that letter. Is that an L you're imagining typing? <laughs> yes. Yes, good. Put your hands down. Do you have the card yet, Mel? You got? No, I don't. Perfect. I haven't made it disappear, I swear I'm not that good. So, uh, <laughs> okay, I've got, you it. got it there? Yep, yeah, perfect. And what I want you to do, we'll put the box on top as well and hide the rest of the cards out of the way. Uh, I don't want to go near them, okay? But okay. for the first time, tell me, I, I, not my card, what card were you thinking of? What was your card? Four hearts. The four of hearts. Or did you change it to a different one after you saw four of hearts? No. Okay, I thought you were thinking, was that one that popped in your. No? No. Okay, I was thinking of the ten of clubs. How close did you get to my card? Can I have a look? Yeah. <gasps> No, five and nine. Okay, never mind. Okay, okay, that's okay. I'm still warming up, all right? Okay, okay I'll come back to you in a minute. <laughs> okay. Just keep thinking of, th uh, tell, we'll do, think of your pin code as well, okay? We'll try this differently, okay? Just think of your the pin code to your phone. I might not get the full name either. Let's start with a one. Yes. Right, okay, 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 okay. Just look at me, just think. The Queen of Hearts has thrown me. Uh, think of another digit near the end of your pin code, okay? The mm -hmm. last number you went to the seven at the end there, yeah? <laughs> think of the worst movie that you've ever seen. Look at me, just think of the worst movie that you've ever seen. Don't say it, just think. Yes. Just think of think of the person in this movie. Just think of the name of the actress or actor. Actor, you nodded too much on actor. It's a man. Mm -hmm. Think of the man's name. Think of mainly what he's known for. Comedian? Yes. Mm. It's the worst movie you've seen. Mm. What's your favourite movie of all time? Tell me that. E.T. E.T. is your favourite. Yes. Are you thinking Adam Sandler? Yes, I am. It's the movie Pixel. <laughs> yes. Right, OK, so right, back on track, back on track. I'm going to show you this, right? OK. I think I've got his pin code, right? So maybe I didn't get the numbers of the cards, but I think that, OK? OK. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us, I can't change it, I'll leave the pen here. Okay. What are the five digits that you were thinking of? What were the five digits that unlock your phone? One. Yeah. Two. Uh, keep going. O. Yeah. One. Yeah. Seven. Oh, no! Oh, I'm going to have to change my pin code Yeah, you will. Look yeah. at me, just look at me. Think of the name. You thought, oh, think of your, in your head the number of letters yes. in the name, OK? Don't say it. Just think. Just think. Mm -hmm. So, well, you thought five, but you counted there are six. Six letters, is that right? <laughs> I'm just counting. Yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just imagine. Uh, imagine they're walking in the door. Yes. And you say, Colin, my name, Colin, mm -hmm. meet my friend. Yes. 
And just imagine, I'm going to write it down so people don't think that you're just playing along to be nice, okay? okay yeah, so yeah. look away just so you don't watch how the pen moves. Just look away now, I think. Okay, cool. That was excellent head gesture in there. Thank uh, you, Mel. That's what I'm here to do. Oh. This, so will be, this will be quite incredible if you get it. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think uh, you thought six, but I think it might be seven. But if I'm wrong, then that's my fault, okay? It could be jet lag, <laughs> okay? Wrong, In a loud voice, yeah. tell us, what is the name of the person you were thinking? What was her name? Gillian. No, and you know, there's so much to my life, Colin, that that is quite remarkable. And when was the last time you saw her? Oh, gee, it would have been years ago. Yeah, yeah. we've got a surprise. Can yeah. we bring her in? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, uh, Far out. Well, that is awesome. Good. That's some magic right there. Hey, thank you. Yes. For thank you for having me, guys. Oh, yeah. That's incredible. Um, Magicians is in wow. Wellington from this Thursday, and then off to Palmerston North, New Plymouth, and Auckland as well. You can check out magicianslive.co.nz for ticket details. Well, I'm buying a ticket to that channel.